Gabor. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the capstone simulation. And here's, uh, you know, kind of the menu sheet. The capstone demo, I think you can play with it all you want in there. And you go through and do things yourself and play with it yourself. We're not going to, I'm not going to get into that right now too much. But I want to get into the actual course. And here we have our teams. The Erie team has one member pending. Um, hopefully, she will be able to, uh, by Friday, will be able to uh, register. We have four practice rounds set. Everything is happening on a Thursday and a Monday. So we're, we're creating a drum beat because once we get into the actual uh, rounds of the game, uh, it's also going to be on a um, Thursday, Monday schedule. If you want, I can add more practice rounds. I can add an interim round between round two and three, three and four. I can add it and then uh, add one after that so that you have more time to practice. The practice rounds are not scored uh, relative to each other. It's only participation points. Did your team do it? The whole point of the practice round is to get used to this kind of complicated uh, simulation. So, for the best way for to do it is for me to log into a team. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll go into bald one. Now, you can do your quizzes, your rehearsal tutorials, and your situation analysis all here. Um, I like this getting started point. There's an introductory lesson that you could look at. Um, and there's a transcript of that you can watch. You can take a quiz regarding that so you learn what to do. There's the guide. You have an online or you can download the PDF. The PDF is also in Canvas. Uh, you have your industry condition reports. So if you look at the condition reports, uh, it gives you uh, kind of like the marketing insight into what's happening. I refer you to the guide to look at it and understand how it works. If we go back, uh, the rehearsal tutorial. You can open a rehearsal tutorial and you can work through all the tactics. Here's all the things you need to do to get going on this thing. So you can start the rehearsal intro and, and if you start it, it gives you this welcome to the rehearsal tutorial, walks you through all the parts. Uh, the rehearsal tutorial will teach you how to perform six tactics that you need to understand before playing the game. It is recommended that you simply follow the steps to get through the rehearsal. You can also select specific tutorial by checking on the blue eye icon. And then continue button, you know, to, to go to the R&D department. So you would look at R&D and it tells you welcome to R&D. First tactic you need to know is how to reposition your existing products. You can launch new products. You can reposition your existing products. And I think it has to do with performance, size, and mean time between failure. And you can take a look at these things. Um, and keep going next. This I thing here will allow you to go from there to production schedules, production equipment, uh, you can take a capstone quiz. You can do marketing. Yeah, I want to leave that page. Sure, why not? And you go through all of these things. You can set your production. And this is basically how you run the game. It's R&D, marketing, production, human resources, and finance. So if we start with R&D. Yeah, I want to close that. We look at R&D, and we already covered this one, right? We talked a little bit about this. Marketing. Here's where you do your forecasting and your pricing of your products. And you can see what other people have priced their products in the uh, every year on review. When we start the game, each round is a year, and we're playing it for eight years. And at the beginning, everybody has exactly the same condition. They've taken a big company and split it up into six pieces. 
equally sized, equal products, everything is the same. So you're all starting on the same page. And you can see where you have to enter things. And as you add new products, you have to position those as well. Uh, being like a real business, you've got to make sure that if you have a forecast, you're going to produce to that forecast. You can buy and sell capacity in your factory. You can get new automation in your factory to make it more effective. It'll probably reduce your labor and increase your capital. Uh, human resources. Uh, if you look at that, the, the things that you want to enter there. Um, and the human resources doesn't start in, in the real uh, game until I think round two. But then you can invest in training for your people and the training will pay off. And finally, in finance, you're probably better off selling, uh, issuing bonds or in stock to raise cash um, than getting short-term debt. So long-term debt is good. If you have to take out a short-term loan because you've mismanaged things, uh, you pay a severe penalty for that. And that's usually a big no-no in a game. So if you can avoid taking short-term debt, you should be okay. So I guess I'm not in Boulder. I seem to be in Andrews. Um, those are the four things you've got to enter. And then when you get it all straightened out, you have your, your final spreadsheet. I'm not sure you'll be able to tell me after the first round better than I can actually tell you is that you can, um, I think you can fill out the individual parts. Anybody in the team can enter things, but then you should review them as a team before you actually play the round, and you should put one person in charge. If the round starts at 10, you should probably have everything entered by six or seven, and then as a team, you can review it. If someone has fallen down, uh, and either due to family or, or work circumstances or just uh, simply forgot to do their part, the rest of the team can then pitch in and do it. Uh, most teams have trouble when they don't do this. They have, uh, they end up with the round going live and they've not entered anything and they get slammed in it and then they start from behind the start line in the next round. So make sure that you picked one person every week to make sure that and set a schedule for your team. Um, teams will have uh, personality conflicts on them and uh, some people work very harmoniously, some don't. Uh, if you don't work harmoniously, your team tends to not produce well. So the key part is to everybody to do the job that they were assigned. And if you're having trouble doing it, reach out for help from your other teammates saying, I'm having trouble understanding this. So if we go back then to um, the beginning, let's see, how do I do that? I just said reverse key, I guess, until I get to uh, the main getting started thing, I think the guide is really important. There are also videos and support you can look at. Um, you can actually call these people and ask them questions. They know more about the game than I do. I've managed it. This is my third time managing it. The first time was like four years ago. The last time was uh, quad B of the fall term. So I've taken by necessity uh, an approach here where each team has to go and learn this themselves. The online guide or the PDF guide, I think you ought to, it's, it's your, your Bible. The other thing is there are a lot of people have posted on the web, not officially necessarily from CapSim, but they've posted uh, tips, tricks, and things that you might want to look at. Someone uh, told me the other day, I'm not paying tuition to get taught by YouTube, but uh, let me be honest with you. Part of this is when you get thrown into a job, I mean, the, the my view in the strategy class and in this final capstone 
is uh, fly my little birdies. Uh, it's not a quantitative uh, decision-making class where I teach you and show you how to do each technique that we do. This is where you're applying everything that you've already uh, theoretically had some exposure to. Do you know all of this stuff? No. But do you have the tools and uh, team? You have the tools at your fingertips that will help guide you through it, and it's going to be confusing. So you need your team to help read it with you if you're confused and uh, make these decisions together. That's probably the best advice I can give you in doing this. So let's not get too excited about the first round practice simulation, which is tonight at 10. But let's learn from it. I mean, these remember, these practice rounds are participation. If you think you want more practice rounds, I'm happy to add one. I can add a, um, a Saturday or a Sunday evening one. It doesn't matter. It's just for your team to start functioning as a team and learning how this works so that in a couple weeks when we start the actual round, you're ready to go. I hope this helps. And again, if you have questions that are like more detailed, and uh, specific about the game, don't hesitate to use the 877 to go. They're not going to help you with strategy. They're not going to make your decisions for you, but they can clarify what you might need to do or not need to do. All right. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon.